What up Factionistas and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a stone statue that is inspired by Shauna Scott here on YouTube. She has a very similar look to this one but she uses intense vivid colors and I'll have that link down below because she's incredible and you definitely want to see it. But until then let's jump right into the video. Okay. I'm starting off this tutorial using Trucef Organics Clay Detoxifying Mask, but since this is a skincare product, I left it on my skin longer than the instructions intend, so it irritated my skin. It's a great product otherwise, but I'll link down below what you should use. But mix it together to get a paste like this. I'm adding this clay paste mixture to my skin with a little bit of a spatula. And that's pretty much all that is. Like that's This is the main part of the entire tutorial. It's great because as this clay dries, it starts to crack and it gives you that great texture. And that's how you pull off that stone appearance. I'm applying it evenly. It's going to come out a little bit patchy, but that's okay. You just want to uh, make sure that it is thick enough. You don't want to do it too thick, though, because once it starts to crack, if the layer on your skin is too thick, it'll fall right off your face. So you want to get a nice middle. Not too hot, not too cold. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to apply this to the eyebrows. This comes off great with warm water since it is just clay and it's a powder formula. So once it gets warmed up and wet, it'll just melt right off your face. So don't be afraid to apply it to facial hair, to apply it to your eyebrows, to apply it to your hairline like I'm doing here. The whole goal of this is to blend the natural hairline into my hair so it looks more stone and less human, if that makes sense. So I'm just moving on now. With I'm using my fingers. Don't be afraid. It's just clay. Not, not going to hurt you. It's actually kind of great for your skin. And I'm just applying it all over to my entire face. Moving on now to my body, and I'm applying that with my hands. Unfortunately, I ran out of clay, so I had to do a very thin amount on my body. So it didn't crack quite as well as I wanted it to, but if you have enough, definitely go for it. Don't forget your ears, okay? I'm going in now with Dynair Fantasy's airbrush in white, and I'm applying that to the clay as it's drying. So this has to have quite a high dry time, so while it's drying, you can be applying makeup on top of it. So I'm using that airbrush, and I'm applying it to the skin. I really like Dynair's airbrush system. It's great for oily skin clients in the terms of beauty because it applies very dry on the skin, very matte. So that's why it's perfect for a statue. But um, if you ever want to use the Dynair system for beauty, I would definitely um, use it mostly only for oily skinned clients because it, 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 to me it tends to pull quite dry. But as you can see here, I'm just applying it all over to my face. I'm doing it in small circular motions to get a nice even coverage. You want to get rid of the green from the clay, but also the skin tone from the skin. My camera lighting was a little bit too bright, so I just turned it down for you so you can see that crackage. Moving on, still doing circular motions and applying it all over. So yeah, so you really want to just mute out all human tones, so whether it's the greenish tones from the clay or your skin tone you want to just get rid of all of it and this is full coverage enough and it's obviously it's airbrush it works fantastic so i would um just apply it like you see here it this unfortunately won't work for cream based paints or water activated paints seeing as this is a clay mask resting on the surface of our face any pressure from a brush or any other product will knock it off of the skin and so it's only kind of going to work if you have an airbrush system, so hopefully you do. But um, just for future reference, that this technique to get any kind of cracked appearance like this is great. I'm just going to let you watch as I airbrush to oblivion. Mm -hmm. So I went to the drugstore and I picked up this white hairspray, which you can get it anywhere, no biggie. And I'm applying it all over my hair to bune out my black hair to get it you know as white as possible it came out a little silver but i kind of liked it it was more of a diffusion but i um if you guys want like slick your hair back put your hair up do all that stuff and you can play the clay to your entire head and it would look really great i'm applying it to my body don't do that i was just like you know let's see what happens and it was fine but i do not do it <laughs> boom almost done yes I'm going in with the airbrush again, and now I'm doing it a little bit more detailed, and I'm making sure that all of the skin is covered around my eye. Be very careful if you're doing this to yourself or a client not to get it in their eye. 
I'm going in now with a black also by Dynair and I'm pulling the airbrush gun only one fourth of the way back to only apply that black in a gray form. It's going to come out muted and it's going to come out less intense and it's going to be a little bit softer and go with the whole statue feel. Even if this was a true statue, it would still have shadow and it would still have shape. So you definitely want to put that into the makeup look as well to get it as realistic as possible. I'm also applying a little bit to the corners of the eye to add dimension there and right underneath the brow bone and anywhere else you uh, particularly what works for you on your face. Bam! I'm going over now with a white to kind of mute that gray down and so it blends into the skin more so the shadow looks like it's underneath the surface of the makeup instead of it being on the top. This works in powder contour and beauty makeup as well as airbrush. You definitely want to apply those concepts and it's a great makeup technique. Closing out the tutorial now with NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm applying that to the waterline to get rid of those final flesh tones. But that's the finished tutorial, my friends, and I really hope that you guys learned something cool and new today. And I really go, oh, 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 oh. I really hope that you guys can apply it to your um, artistry in the real world. And if you do, definitely tag me on social media. I connect with you on all of my social media platforms. I love to hear from you. I love to see your inspiration and all that stuff. So please communicate with me, and I will see you on the interwebs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.